Hi students, welcome to module two, week two in 6002. Um, just wanted to touch base with you regarding um, the expectations for this week. Uh, this week we'll be working on head, eyes, ears, nose, mouth, throat, and uh, neuro and lymph. So please be sure to look at your reading guides this week to know um, what you should be focusing your attention on, especially with structure and function of uh, eyes, ears, nose, and throat. I want you to pay particular attention to the um, elderly and children aspect of uh, sensory things, uh, eyes, ears, nose, and throat. Um, so be sure that you're looking at those particular um, uh, lifestyle uh, considerations. Um, in uh, this week in Jensen, you will be reading chapters 12 through 15 and also chapter 22. Uh, pay close attention to the table or the box 22.1 in chapter 22, and it um, talks about cranial nerves. And so you'll want to be sure that you're learning how to assess cranial nerves and um, the practical application of that. So be sure that you spend time. That is something that I would memorize and I would encourage you to memorize. So um, chapter 44 in Taylor has more to do about sensory function. Um, so I'd say taking a look at uh, the table 44-1 in Taylor, the blue box, and it talks about uh, a focused assessment guide for sensory function. I think that also would be um, good use of your time so that you can know how to assess um, alterations and sensations as well as document and apply um, to the nursing process. So make sure that you are um, spending time there. Uh, this week, you will be doing a um, discussion board as always, original post Wednesday, reply by Saturday, 11.30 p.m. on both those dates. Um, and this pregnant woman has an enlarged thyroid gland and has a thrill that you auscultate. So, um, so I'm eager to see your discussions on that discussion board. Um, and then we will have our lab quiz as always. Um, there are several videos in the watch and learn section under lab in Jensen. For the entirety of all of those videos that are listed, I can't imagine it's gonna take you more than 15 minutes. So I have put the times next to them so that you know how much time to allot. So if you're just you know, in line waiting to pick up somebody, um, you've got a quick uh, minute to read something or to look at something, you can go to those videos and get those done. Um, it should not take you very long at all. And then um, your prep you again, remember target mastery level six, in 6002 and so your um, your quiz two for prep you will be due this week as well by Saturday and then your virtual simulation is in Taylor this week on a woman named Kim Johnson who has a spinal cord injury due to a gunshot wound and she needs to be straight cast so um, I hope that you enjoy that virtual simulation um, for those of you who are in clinical, um, which is a handful of you, uh, uh, the work that is due regarding clinical is between you and your clinical instructor. I don't manage the clinical um, piece of the course. And so in terms of due dates or expectations um, with the reflection journals or the clinical worksheet, um, you should be having that conversation with your clinical instructor. Uh, there are two journal reflections and there um, is a clinical worksheet that you should be working on every week that you're there for those three days. Um, but in terms of expectations and gradings, be sure to reach out to your clinical instructor who can give you the specific details on um, that information. So that's module two in a nutshell. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me and have a fantastic week.